Hey there, so today's video is based upon uh, Silver Sheen Obsidian. I almost said Snowflake then. Nope, done that one. Um, I asked on Facebook for ideas of gemstones because I was a bit short on them and everyone just threw them at me. I had so many. Um, I had loads of different ones and I asked my mum to choose and originally she chose a different one but it was not in my comfort zone and I really feel like being myself right now and of course this is very much me. Silver Sheen Obsidian is a very pretty stone. I hadn't actually seen it before and it's it's basically a black stone with this silver sheen almost running through it. It's so pretty. One specific picture I found was of a sphere of snowflake obsidian and the silver light sits in the middle. That was why we have round eyes for once with the silver like as a halo effect. I've never done a halo eye before. I quite like how it turned out. I love the lips. Just yeah, this is very much me, very much up my street. I really like it and I hope you do too. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello, so eyebrows are on. Eyes are why am I doing that? Eyes are primed. <laughs> my eyebrows. Eyes are primed. Now I'm going to use the Kiko Long Lasting Sick Eyeshadow and this is number 19, which is a metallic y gunmetal colour. I'm not going to draw it straight on my eyelid because that always goes badly so I'm just going to take a bit on the brush and that is our base next up is I Heart Makeup Makeup Geek palette well done the matte cream will be our base colour you know our blending setting colour that I do. And yes the base is pretty badly bended. <laughs> Salik matte VT palette, what a surprise. Thunder which is a matte grey. This is our first crease colour. palette I'm going to use Noir which is a matte black which is our my main crease colour and I'm going to pop it in a big circle like so I don't want to flick the eyeshadow out like I normally do. I want it to be all round, but I don't know how well I'm going to do that. <laughs> so it may end up flicking out. But yeah, add plenty of black, and then I'm going to use another brush with the thunder on it. The thunder on it, well done. Bye bye, Heli Golder. just burn that out. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Awesome Metals Eyeshadow in Black Diamond. I um, haven't got the mixer anymore but I don't think I'm going to need it so I'm just going to get a bit on the brush. As you can see I have got a round shape and then in the middle bit that we left clear I'm going to use this. So, and then I'm going to use the Makeup Mac no, Max Factor Wild Shadow Pot in Sultry Silver. Straight over the top. Mm. 
and I'm just going to blend that out. See? <clears throat> Voice crack. It's like a hint in the middle. Not the easiest thing in the world to do with my eye shape, but we're getting there. Now I'm going to use the Kiko stick again. And, and we're going to go in a corner as well, all the way around. Blend and soften that up. Then I'm going to use Sunder. Or not. Whoopsies. Let's go straight on to the wash, shall we? In the inner section, then take the black diamond from Makeup Revolution again. In the middle section, where we didn't put Noir, which is should be directly underneath the silver on the top. And then press the silver on the top. Okay, <laughs> so strange. I think once I got like other bits on it, it will look more put together. Anyway, God, this is really weird. NYX matte liquid liner. Uh, no thick for this because obviously we're going round. Choose the line. And obviously it's quite natural when you put on liquid liner to make it thicker at the end but if you make the thickest point in the middle it'll keep your eyes looking very round. Okay, I'm going to go do mascara and lashes and I'll be back to do the face. See you in a minute. Mascara and post lashes are on. <clears throat> As you can see. Now Maybelline Baby Skin for the primer. And on my lip by the way. And then I'm going to use a Freedom Longwear Pro Matte Foundation. This is number one, I think. O2. Oh, 
Kiko Full Coverage Concealer, and this is in 01. Start on areas around the face. the new matte powder set everything with this Right, quick change of foundation plans because the Freedom one didn't sit very well, so I'm just using the NYX HD foundation. Woo -ha. Do that quickly, I think. Same primer. Matte V2 palette Thunder is our contour. Oh, whoops! With a much lighter hand than that. Avon, Cynthia Rowley for Avon all over face powder. Do you wear this all over? That hasn't got a name. It's a pink blusher. is done <clears throat> time for lips I've literally just had this come through literally the only thing I've taken out of the package and this is the MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquer in Potent I messed with it earlier literally as it came in I was doing my mascara so and it needs a couple of coats but I'm just going to put that on and it's black if you hadn't noticed Okay, and then I am going to use Freedom Makeup Lipstick from the Star Wars collection in Skywalker, which is purple on it. How many times have I said it has purple on it? <laughs> Whoops. Then I'll put that in the middle. And burn that out. And use Sultry Silver, the silver we've been using throughout this video, on the top. That is my makeup look for Silver Sheen Obsidian that was requested when I asked on Facebook. A lovely um, girl gave me so many gemstones, I've got so many ideas now. I'm 
honestly, so many people just threw ideas at me. I even have a photo album full of these ideas with pictures of the gemstones. That was how many I got. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this. It's a bit different to what I normally do. But thankfully, as always, as soon as I got my hair down and the lips on and everything started to come together. And I really like how this looked. So I hope you do too. And until next time, just believe. Bye.